I think it's working. Thank you, public. Done. Save. Right. We're all connected up. Hopefully it's working. I haven't done this for a while. If any of you are watching, currently says I've got one. Hope you're doing alright. Just gonna keep an eye on everything else. I think it's looking good. Hopefully you can all see me. I always have to check it on my phone to make sure it's working. It'll probably tell me in a second that you've gone live. It's like cool, thank you. Let's have a look. No one said hi yet. I'm live. Cool, we're good. For any of you tuning in, and you weren't around for when it was all going to be happening, um, hi, I hope you're doing all right. I want to introduce you to Rocket. He's my uh, little fluff ball. He's been to the vets today, he's doing all right. He's a little monkey. But I'm going to put them down, but they're underneath my feet. So if you see me stopping for anything, it's because they're attacking something or chewing something that they shouldn't do. Hello, Perbeck Valley Moderawi. Hi, Tris. Hi, how are you doing, Ethan R? Howdy, how are you doing? Shadow Architect. When the Neil is live. Hi. Um, and then, are you saying hi, teachers? Good day from Australia. How are you doing? Hi, the 700 Shunter. So, Archie's Trains. Hi everyone. We get a few of you in and then I'll start tinkering away. But basically I've got like my boogie bolster to put together. I've got a bit of work to do on that. I've got my van to put together. I've got some transfers to go on here. I don't know how much we'll do tonight, but we'll do something. And I'll be chasing after my cats as well. I've got growth underneath my feet. There you go, monkey. This is Groot. Is that the kit? Yep, that's exactly the one that I did. I was like, I need to paint this, and I fancy going live, and I thought it'd be good to, to do it. The thing about kittens, they've got really sharp claws. But fine. Serves me right for holding it. Yeah, so digging it out, I realised on the bogey bolster, I hadn't put together the bogeys. And I'm going to put these wheels in, and then I realised that... Um, I need little brass inserts, and I don't think they came in the kit, or if they did, I don't know where they are. Scott Domain, hi. Um, Steam on Sodor, 1937 Studios. Howdy, hope you're doing alright. So yeah, so I thought I'd tinker, whilst you guys come in and say hi, and we'll go from there really. Has everyone been alright, and had a nice day? I've been up to all sorts of day, I work in the morning, um, actually kind of... I felt I did a good job today, not that I don't normally, <laughs> let's say, um, but I got something working which was really cool. Um, but then I went and had my vaccination, I got all Pfizered up so I became a, a superhero which was kind of cool. Um, I don't feel like I've got any superpowers but, you know, I feel alright though after having it. And then I took my kids in to get vaccinated as well but they didn't have Covid, you know, they, they just had you know, the normal kitten type one that you have. Um, yeah, and all the other bits. Well, I've got, got the microchipped, which is all cool, but obviously you're not here for the kittens, you're here for, let's talk about model rallies. But yeah, so I'm doing all right, thank you, Steam and Um I, yeah, I've had a, a pretty good day. Um, and then I was like, oh, I'll do a live stream later. And I was like, what if I feel like Pat after having uh, well, my jab? But I feel all right, slightly dead arm, but we're all good. So yeah, so I've been enjoying doing a lot of work in the loft actually for my next video. Um, a bit warm today though, I did go up there. And I've been mocking up, not mocking up, but getting together the station area. Um, and that is a combination of all, hello like Tom, uh, a combination of these 3D printed little right angly bits and it's worked out really nicely. 
But I learned that a copy deck is absolutely useless with, um, let's find the words, uh, you know, 3D printed parts. So uh, I went for Yoohoo in the end. Yoohoo. Um, which seems to be good, a bit stinky, but it works. I'm just putting these wheels on these uh, little bogey bolster. Got little metal ones. A bit of speedster now. If they roll properly. It's just touching a little bit of plastic there. It's a bit of a uh, bit of flash. Should have cleaned it off. Should be re. Yeah, she spins nicely now. That's going to go underneath here. I thought, what I do is I glue it on whilst I'm kind of painting it and everything, and then I eventually put some couplings under these little tongs. It's kind of cool how these go together. It's nice and simple and everything. Um, so now I've done that. I actually just put it on. So is anyone modelling tonight? Are you just kind of chilling out on the iPad or TV, iPhone, Android, whatever your poison is? I'm going to build a table up in the loft so I can do it up there. That would be really good. But, oh well, <laughs> we'll get that. Right, so let's stick this on. I've got some super glue. It says 60 seconds all purpose glue, but I think they're lying. It's normally about three minutes, it feels like, when it's trying to glue something. But I put that on there. So that's squirting its way out. I guess you guys can hear me loud and clear. Is it all working? Hello, Hemel Down Water Railway. I don't think I've seen your name on here before. You get used to seeing certain names on, and then you also get used to not seeing certain names. Um, and then you're like, oh, who's that? They're new. Are you guys subscribers of mine, or did you just like see something in the recommendation and, and go from there? I feel like I'm doing this wrong, by the way. There's some distractions, but they kind of give you half the story in a. Yeah. Maybe I should have done this differently when I built it, but it'll be re. I'm sure it will. We'll just go from there. Let's make sure it's straight. So that's that. So it's straightish. One thing that I, I didn't put on is the little hooks that go on the end. I realised that on my other one, I, I stuck some on, so I don't have any, so I might have to 3D print some. Hey Jerome, how are you doing? Watching from Portsmouth, Virginia, US of A. How are we all doing? How's the weather over there? Is it nice? It, we've actually had some nice weather today, which is good. You don't always get nice weather, but, you know, sometimes you know, it does. It does turn out quite nice. So yeah, so I'm going to basically paint these grey. Lots of greyness going on. This one's already done. Um, and I was going to maybe put some transfers on, but we'll see how we get on. I don't want to bore you all too much. If you subscribed a while back, um, been on a few of your live streams before, just not chat so much. Well, welcome into the chat. I understand what it's like. I watch a lot of live streams and I don't chat. So whilst that one's drying, I'm going to be working on this one. Knife is away. Should I stick the roof on afterwards or before? What do we think? I probably won't be able to stick it on properly if I uh, do it later because I'll have too much paint over the edges. Let's do it now. Scratch off some of the uh, surface. So Anfield Road, hello, how are you doing? So Boxcar, you said, I have a couple of models coming in today actually that I'm going to be painting. And what are those models? One thing I find with these kits, the ones that I've built, um, is let's say they're like 12 odd quid. I think you're buying them because you enjoy building them. Because when you look at the price of some of the wagons you can buy, if you look carefully, you can pick them up for like the same price as it is to build a kit. And normally, like, you buy a kit because it'd be cheaper. But maybe that's just my way of thinking. 
It doesn't work out to be a always a, a cheaper solution, but yeah. But I'm okay with that. Hello, Richard. You're right. Live, not love. I love it. Right, I've got the super glue out. I thought I'd dab some here because I don't want to get it all over where the paintwork's going to go. A flying Scotsman and a J94. And you're going to paint them. Are you going to change things up? Are going to do something differently? Or are you going to do the same thing or neaten it up or weather it? Hello, Dale, the drum. How are you doing? Right, let's put a bit, of, a bit of super glue on the edges. Would you guys want to see more live streams like this of me just painting the stuff in the evening? It might be a nice way of helping you send you off to sleep. But, oh well. I think you guys said that the sounds are right, didn't you? Hello, double O steam. I like it. All right, let's stick this on, hopefully, in the right place. I can always destroy it and redo it, right? That's how this works. Oh, there's a bit of a gap on the top there. I didn't build this very well, I think. In review, there's a bit of a gap under there. I have to fill it up with like some like foliage or something. No one to spot it then, right? I think I'm going to add a bit of glue on these high spots. Maybe I take the high spots down. What do you think? No, I can't. I just need to build it better next time. But no one's going to look at this closely apart from me. Unless I let, let someone in my loft and then I'll have to cut the wires out afterwards. Right, should be good. Here we are. Sticking the roof on. Nice. Thomas McIlroy. Hi Tris, how are things? Things are good. Um, I had my vaccination today. My kids having, my kids, my kittens had their vaccinations wherever they are. They're normally underneath my feet, so I'm doing all right. I was gonna show them to you. Um, yeah, and uh, here, doing a bit of modeling. It's all good. Um, in tinkering in the loft. Richard's building a full rake of, oh, building a full rake live tonight. But me or or you are maybe I'm being dim there Mr. Richard oh, well. so the weather deaf weather I'm gonna change things up Thomas Whitington Whittington Whittington yeah, Whittington, right? Hello, Tris. I hope you are. I'm good. Oh, me. That's right, Richard. I'm doing a whole lot. I think I feel like I need more of these. You know, when you start batching things up. Ooh, I think that's good. That pin's okay. Right. Shall we start getting some paint on them? Make it fun. It rolls nice, though. Check it out. It's a bit of a track. Bit of fourth radius going into a bit of straight. That's all right. Pass the test. Got this one as well. What's the roof streak going on? Let's pop these in. Trying not to split the side of the chassis off. It's emotional, like this process. Ooh. I knock bits off of my fat thumbs. Went to the model club like two weeks ago. See, that's all bent out. I clearly didn't build that right either. Oh, I built it right. It's just crazy. It's almost like it doesn't need the inserts in it. Or this bit's too wide. I've got some other wheels, but they're like little plastic ones. I've got another Cooper Craft one here. Yeah, that's on it. But that looks different underneath. Maybe I need to use the old Cooper Craft ones. The little plastic ones, who knows? Should we try them? Oh, no, they're metal. I lied to you. Let's see how these work out. I think these are the ones that come with it. No, it still bends it. Look at that, that angle. Crazy. I followed the destructions and everything. 
We're still paint it. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. The focus on the good one, right? Queen, hello. It has been a while. A bit like life stuff and trying to do videos and things like that. You just, you just run out of time. So time machines need to come in. Right, let's look at these two and work out what I've done wrong. But it looks like I built it correctly. It is what it is. It just won't roll very nicely. ACL 250 Productions. That's kind of cool. You sound like a uh, production people. Like ACL 250. So if I take out one of these, do you think it'll be all right? I don't even know if they're glued in. Let's see if that one's out. Let's do this side. You guys aren't going to tell anyone, right? That I cheated. It's better. I'm taking out both sides. Oh, don't break it. Coming in. Enfield Road. Looking good. Ah, oh, it's nice. HR axles. I'm going to have to get some of them. It's upside down. What do you mean? It is upside down. But it spins nicely now without having the little metal bearings in there. We're getting them out. Do all these fancy things. We don't need them. I should have checked this when I built it the first time around. There we are. It's nice. I knocked off one of these little leggy bits though. We're going to have to stick that back on. I'll use the uh, very super blue. Any plans for the weekend, the bank holiday guys? So you're going to go do railway stuff, see family. Maybe do some railway stuff and see some more family. Chris, do you think I should start a YouTube channel? At the end of the day, oh, let's kick my cat. Come in. There you are. Sorry, I'm going to get my cat up. Um, with YouTube channels, it's all about having some fun. This is great. He's a little monkey. And look it. Look it, yeah. So you just got to have fun. Like, if you fancy making videos every week and putting loads of time in, then, yeah you go do one um, if you want to share your journey or you feel you can bring something for people to enjoy I don't know that's what I'd be doing um, I started one partly because I was getting back into the hobby I've been watching those YouTube videos um, and I said to my dad about doing the railway um, and I thought it'd be fun so he wants to get down and so that's why I started mine and I had a few people subscribe, which was cool, and went from there, which was honestly really, really nice. So, um, yeah, if you want to do one, you want to share your journey, and you want to connect with people, yeah, do it. Um, but, yes, bear in mind, it's hard work, and sometimes you have a really good day, or video that comes out, and you're like, ah, oh, this is great, I'm doing brilliant. And then, um, you have one that flops. And you're like, what did I do? This is some of my best work. And you sometimes spend like eight, ten hours editing or whatever you might end up doing. You think this is going to be it. This, this one's going to go really well. And it doesn't. You know, like, oh, okay. And some of the ones you don't put a lot of time into do really, really well. And you're like, fine. It's all the thumbnail. That's what it's all about. Well, maybe it's not. Um, yeah, anyway. Let's have a little look. There is a tool that opens out the axle holes for fitting brass top pads. I think it's a DCC concept. I'll have to check it out. Um, where did you get the kit from? So, I just eBay, um, and I think some model shops sell them. It's the Cooper Craft kit is the van. So this van is by 
again, Cooper Craft. Whereas, excuse me, a bit gassy. This is a ratio kit, this one. Uh, bogey bolster. Um, and yeah, it's a cool little kit. A little bit, not too fiddly. Um, I was going to say it was a little bit fiddly, but no, it was actually, it was all right. So, that's that. I've got one that I've I got off a friend. Um, and it's nice, but he put these like crazy nails in it to kind of get it going. So I need to give that some love sometime. So that's that. And you can see all these like pins in there. So I need to kind of just cut them off, um, really. And they'll probably be enough. Just don't need the, the pin heads on there. I guess you can see it on the camera, right? So, yeah. So that's that one. But it's gorgeous. It's a mainline one, it says here. Um, but it's just, just long, like you can see the comparison in size there. But I'd like to get more of these and like some loads to go on them. I don't know what I put on there. I don't know if we do like a couple of McDonald's deliveries on them and you know go down that route. Um, but yeah, so it's it's nice. So uh, yeah, I'd like to serve a whole bunch of these. So save up my pocket money and, and get myself some more of them. Um, uh, it's weird that I'm building one of my 009 kits. No, that's great. I've got those little 009 bits I need to work on. I've got some bits around here. I've got some coaches. Let's grab them. There they are. So these coaches um, I got from a friend whose grandfather had obviously sadly passed away. But that was about 20 years ago I got given these. And I gave it to my dad. And then he didn't do much with it. Then I said to my dad, do you think I could have that stuff back? Um, and yeah, I've got all sorts of 009 bits. And that's why I've got 009 on my railway. Um, so my plan is to strip these back down, get the paint off, and paint them up in Great Western colours. So we have our cream um, and chocolate um, colours on it. But the roofs are a bit, well, not, not quite right. You can see there's deformed bits and bobs. So I was thinking, get on a 3D printer. I like doing that. Make some new roofs and everything, put some new details on, and paint them up. And that will they'll just be gorgeous going along. That's like a brake banny type one. But they're excellent. I don't even know where these bits come from. It's just they're a part of the bits that I was given at the time, which is cool. Alex, you finished your GCSEs. Excellent. I remember when I finished mine. Um, I kind of, after I've done them, I was like, I don't care what grades I've done. Uh, I've got, I've done them and I can't change anything about it. And life worked out all right in the end. So that's kind of cool. Logs, cut timbers, steel beams, pipes, loads of options. Right. That's cool. I like the idea of logs. Right. So what we do is we'll start getting some paint on because that's a joyous thing. I'll do my Great Western stock grey. But I've got freight grey and stock grey. What's the difference? Oh, they're both the same number. They've just got two different names. <laughs> I'll go for stock grey then. Give it a good shake. So who else is on it that I might have missed? Alan Reynolds. Hello. I watch your YouTube channel, Alan. You probably know that because I commented on it one time. I watch far too much of YouTube for my own good. It'll probably come out in a few years that it's not good for you and causes headaches and nausea or something like that. But I love it. Hey, I, I binge watch um, stuff that I've already watched and just leave people's channels running so I can have something in the background. Like when I'm working, I just have a little headphone in. And, uh, I think that's well shaken now. Right. Let's find a brush. I've got some new brushes when I went to a model shop. These are Pure Klinsky Sable from Germany. It's a number two. And we're going to go with that. And I've got my little... Well, it's not little, it's a huge one because my other one's in the loft. Um, but I'm going to use this. So I've put some paint in. And then we're going to use that to, uh, to, you know, borrow it from. But it's all, it's all dry. But it looks disgusting. David Cook, I've got a moderator in. Finally, everyone's been out of control, David. I needed you. Where have you been? I guess I didn't send you out the uh, the moderator email. Right, so we're going to put a little bit of water in there. My pipette. And we'll get some. Maybe there's a bit too much water in there. But we can we can work the paint over here. I have got a wet palette somewhere, and that would actually be quite nice. But I always like to to water it down for any of you wondering. It's always nice. Anthony, how are we doing? You got the blue badge now. 
be badge holder. It's all good. So I would just start start slapping it on, and then let it dry, and then do a few more coats, and then maybe in a week it will be done. Oh, at the end of this, guys, I'm going to read you all the story, like I have done in my previous live streams. I have a number of the Thomas the Tank Engine books that I obviously quite enjoy reading. Um, and if you, you know, you guys can pick. There'll be a few options there. I've got, what have I got? I have Henry the Green Engine. So one of my favourite stories. We've got that. We won't do Enterprising Engines. We've got Gordon the Blue Engine. Uh, we won't do the famous eight. So we basically got the two. We've got Edward and we've got Henry. But I think Henry will be the best one for tonight. Dinmore, howdy. Hope you're all right. We're just painting up some lovely Great Western goodness. We're going to do some, I guess, frame dirt for the bits underneath. I guess that's a good bet, right? Don't put too much paint on. It's very watery, so it's not going to destroy anything. I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on these bits, so it kind of primers it up a little bit. I think it would be all right. I primed them with some Halfords uh, grey primer, for those that were wondering. When I use the white primer, I find I get not as nice a surface finish as when I um, obviously use the grey. Don't know why. I shake the can. I make sure it's not cold. Um, but every time I get an emotional response when I have painted it, and I'm like, well, that's taken away some of the detail. And it's added some fluff that I don't want to. And that's not the cats doing it. That's pure, well, just can fluff. All right. That's that. Hey, J94, are you winning? Yeah, who's winning out of everyone on here? Is everyone, everyone winning tonight? When I say winning, just basically just conquering all, you know, reaching your dreams, solving your problems with thoughts and aggression. No, no, just, no, just thoughts. Thoughts. Can't really see so well. It's like... You, you get to see the palette more than you see anything else. Maybe I'll do this. Or I could just move the camera. I'm happy. I can move myself. Da, da, da. A bit of a flash line there. Failed. Problem when you're building a live stream, you kind of... I rush through things a bit. The pressure. Hey Anthony, hmm, badged, I am marked, better than a Scarlet A. I don't even know what Scarlet A is, is that, is that like from a movie or literally I haven't lived because I don't know what that is. Maybe you can educate me. You are a teacher after all, sir. Ba -ba -bum. Did you guys like my recent film that I really film movie that I released video? It's gone really well. I've been really pleased actually. I was um, genuinely really disappointed at the previous one. It hadn't gone really well. I was like, fine, 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 fine. And then um, I did this one, and I was like, I'm gonna do editing slightly differently this time, and. And it's gone really well. I'm like, oh, that's actually really cool and giving me a bit of a buzz, if I'm honest. So, for any of you that watched it, I appreciate that. And comments are always welcome. If you ever want to say, hi Tris, this video was ace, or hi Tris, your video was rubbish. You know, either one is, <laughs> is welcome. Um, obviously, I'll have a little cry to myself. You got no, no email, David? Rubbish. I'm like calling all moderators. The rabble are here. I need protection. Mm -mm. 
Does anyone know if there's going to be any model shows ever? Is anything planned? I heard something about Wardy, but I don't actually know. I guess they can't really plan too much, but they can figure things out, right? It was a great video. Thank you very much. And thank you, J94. Um, I had a lot of fun with it, if I'm honest. And my next video should be, should be good. Uh, no track laying this time. But I'm doing like station work and I know I've been really enjoying myself tinkering. I've been doing some really cool little waiting rooms. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should do if you get bored. I have had a haircut. I got it cut yesterday. Um, I found, I'd had it cut three weeks before, but not really short enough. And maybe it's two weeks. And I was like, mm, it's grown back so quickly. So I thought I'll trim the beard and I'll trim the hair. And go from there. Ready for the hot hot days we've got ahead, right? It's nice when you've got long hair and it's winter. That just keeps your head warm. Uh, yeah, the joys. Thank you, David. What is planned to be on? And when, when's that going to be? Is that the kind of like November time? Thank you, Hemeldown. I think I've already said thank you, but I'm saying thank you again. <laughs> you almost see the computer reading them out to you while you're fading. It'd be some uh, automated female voice where it says, Hard filler railway, it says, Hi Tris, been watching you for a while now. I've started my own channel with my day out too. Just got back from work, how are you doing? Do you know what? I'm going to write that down. Um, I'm going to make a note because I don't remember things after a certain amount of time has passed. Oh, there's a pussy get on the floor. I have to be careful where I stand when I get back up. Right, and gee ho, that's the kit by the way. Right guys, if you want to check out a channel, let's go and check out Heart Filler Railway. Heart? Is it hard? Heart Filler Railway. And what do you model, Heart Filler Alley? You don't have to say uh, 1920s uh, steam based in the southern region. You can do obviously, you can be whatever you like. <laughs> uh, if you just literally got into it, because I like a bit of everything, but I like to have all the Great Western bits as well. So that's kind of, for me, quite, quite fun. Um, so obviously a lot of people get into it not knowing what they want to like and they get a bunch of different bits and that's great. That's the first step really. You've just got to do something. That That's the key part. Um, there's a lot of us don't do things because we're scared of not doing it right. And it's like, no, no, do it. Do it wrong loads of times and eventually you'll ace it. That's kind of my plan anyway. By the time I finish this side of the railway, I'm going to rip up the other side probably. And by the time I've done that side of the railway, I'll probably rip up the other side again. It's just a never-ending journey. Never-ending story. Two-day job, Wally, November. Nice. It's going to be epic. It'll probably be on on a weekend that I'm away with work. I'm like, oh, great. I have to wait till next year. I work a lot on the weekends, part of work. And um, it, it's always very damaging to be able to go to model railway shows, steam events, all sorts of things. And it's just like, oh, why can't railway shows be in the middle of the week? And I can take a day off then and uh, come along. Here we are. Hey, Joe, scale modeler. Hey, Tris, could, you, could I send you an American locomotive to have? You want to give me a loco? Um, you, you could. Um, do I need to fix it up and make it look pretty? My dad's got a HO layout. He's been, is it um, Lamy? Uh, Lamy? Yeah, Lamy. I think that's the name of what he's doing. You'd be you'd be welcome to. It'd be honestly really lovely of you to, to do that. Um obviously obviously you guys you know keep it secret and that, but my email if you guys ever want to email me, it's 
Trish Bits, so T R I S H, um, at live.com. And uh, I might have made a mistake giving out my email. I have like a hundred uh, emails to read about. Oh no. <laughs> um, but yeah, just ping me a message if you like. And um, if you want to send me something. I've always fancied doing a, a railroad layout, so to speak. Just something small um, that I could almost take to an exhibition or something. And a side project for when the loft is so hot that I'm just, oh, melting. ACL 250. So with the American Locos, obviously my, my brother and my dad, they've got a bunch of the... Um, you know, the gas turbine ones that have got like the big bell and they just sound like beasts. And obviously I'm into steam, like majority, you know, but that's my main flavour that I like. And um, so I always liked, and I did buy one, it was by Spectrum, which is the background brand. And um, it was, it had like the little gearbox on the sides to then drive the wheels. Um, and I can't, I can't remember the name of it, but it was really cool, really good. But I sold it in the end. I was got a little bit tight one month, and I thought, well, I don't need this, so I'm selling it. And I wish I kept it now. It's just like a life thing, isn't it, when we, we sell on things and then regret it later on. Just I shouldn't have bought so many McDonald's that month, you know. I could have uh, kept the train. Um, but no, that was lovely. And I bought that when I was in America. I was over with work, um, and I picked it up. Um, at, I was in California at the time. And so then I went and picked that up. So, Anthony, you said, ah, I should use that logic for myself. I haven't not finished my lout, but I am in the process of remaking it again. Okay. Boxcar. I wish I had a loft like you. But I'm in America and we have basements. But I'm hoping I can build up something nice in the basement for my layout. But your basement is probably far bigger than my loft. My loft is tiny. It might look bigger on the videos. Or maybe it doesn't, but... I think people probably think, ah, oh, that loft's massive, and it's like, no, <laughs> it's kind of not, once you've been up there for a little while, and you're breathing in, I don't know, all your body odour fumes as your, your, you know, your life support. Um, I'd love to get a window up there one day, but I've put the railway up now and blocked everything up with insulation, so that ain't happening. Unless I get rid of my boiler, which is down the end, and then that would mean um, that Obviously, my house won't be hot anymore because I got rid of the boiler, but I can have a window there instead. <laughs> Maybe there's an alternate heating system that I can use and connect that up. Who knows? Yeah, that's right. Hello, Nick Gurr. Do, do you get people going grrr at you? Like, they're mad. That's a cool last name. I like it. So, this grey is coming on nicely. Well, going on nicely anyway. Green sounds like a shea. That, that sounds like, I guess, that kind of thing. I don't really know much about them, but it's like they're very cool. Hemel Down Model Railway. I've just started my channel today and started cleaning up the garage to clear some space. So, you've started a channel. Does that mean if I write your name down, um, I'll be able to find something? If I've missed anything, I can always come back later. We'll let that dry. I need to jot down another. Right, what are we doing? So I want to write Hemel down. Down. Ba -ba 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 -ba, model railway. Boom. Boxcar, yeah, that's true. I think I want to start with 10 by 10. That's still a good amount of size, Mr. Boxcar. The one thing that is always nice if you can have a bit of a bit of straight, which is always nice. Because um, I always feel like mine's getting onto the curve after it's gone down the straight, but it only feels like that if I run too long of trains. So I quite like it when I have my short coaches and everything on. All right, well, I've put it down. I'll have a watch sometime, sir. That's if you're Sir Swag thing. You know, see some of these names, it could be could be a lady on there. I'll say dude. Who knows? 
I'm painting this out of you. You come on here to watch me paint something grey. Fifty shades of grey. And uh yeah. Hiding it from view. So I've got a nice thin coat and everything. I understand with all the Great Western stuff on these wagons, a lot of the time they just painted everything the same colour. That's what I seem to see on the bits that are painted and that you go to dig at railway. I'm like, well, they must be painting like they used to. I've seen that of a time machine to go and like reference. I'm like, hang on, I'll just have a look on the main line and see if there's some wagons coming past. I think I'll paint the roof a darker shade of grey. What do you think? Da, da, da. Nick, uh, not my real name, just make streamers say a, a naughty word. A naughty word? I actually don't know. Nicker. Nicker. I don't know. My innocent mind. Not playing into my hands, they're helping. Not playing, but, you know. We can do the break stuff, we can do that darker colour, can't we? It would have got dirty when they're using it anyway, right? <laughs> Newlin Railway, get a portable AC in the loft. That would be cool. My brother's got one of them. I have to save up my pocket money and get one. Have an AC fund ready for the summer. Thing is, they normally people want to buy them in the summer, and then you can't get hold of them. So, what's on everyone's to-do list for their model railway? Like, what's the next thing that you're gonna paint? That's what I want to know. Have a drink. Hello, darling. I'm clumsy. James Hearts. Thanks, mate. <coughs> Excuse me. Learn how to drink properly. So, yeah. What do you guys think of painting things grey? It's fun, right? I could probably use an airbrush and do it, but where would be the fun in that? And the airbrush is in the loft, so I'm not doing that. Been airbrushing the track and then weathering some other bits of track and stuff to do with track. The joys of it. Hot Villa Railway, question. Do you believe that these lockdowns have contributed to more people coming into the model railway hobby? Everyone at work has seems got back into it. I guess so. You know, we've been restricted in what we can do. Um, you know, when we're out and about having busy life, the stuff that we'd like to do, we don't always have time to, or don't have time to sort things out to then have time to do the hobbies. I guess with kids and stuff like that, for some families, it was nice, you know. It's like getting together and building up a model railway, you know, father and son, like back in the day. Like when I was a boy, like, yeah, I had like a mega drive and stuff like that, but we had the model railway and I'd go up there with my dad and my brother. We'd have this kind of little four inch black and white TV and we'd watch, you know, Star Wars would sometimes be on or whatever. And, um, and I really enjoyed it. You know, that was my childhood. Um, and obviously life's changing, cultures are changing, but like with the RC industry, which is what I work in, that boomed. You know, people are getting into buying with little tummy kits, retro kits, you know, you know, allowing their nostalgia to to really go riot. Um, as well as people getting into the hobby. So as racing starting now, I'm seeing loads of new faces, which is great for the hobby. And it must be the same in so many areas of crafts and things you can do at home, you know, without needing to go out and about. So, you know, like... Let's say the sewing industry is improved for people that have always found they're doing a bit of that. 
um, arts and crafts have probably gone wild and people getting into painting. Um, I don't know, there must be so many stories of this. Anthony Dodge says, Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. <laughs> I like that. I like sayings. Whenever I hear sayings, I like to write them down. But one thing wasn't a saying, but I heard something the other day which I thought was almost profound. And it's a thing of, um, basically, when you get inspired, you... You, you obviously, you're, you're meant to do something with that. Like, let's say I watched whoever's latest video on YouTube, that's inspired me. If I then don't go and act on that, that's purely become entertainment. So you should never let inspiration become entertainment. Otherwise, it's wasted on you, you know? Um, so, and then it's not inspiration. If somebody says, oh, something inspired me the other day, and you're like, oh, what was that? And they tell you about it. And then they, you'd find out um, that they didn't do anything. It's like, well, you didn't get inspired then because you didn't do anything by it, you know? So it's just entertainment. It's just, you know, getting your little heartbeat going a bit more. But it's like, right, fine. So, yeah, don't waste inspiration, everyone. If you see something that you like, go and do something about it. Go and change the world in your own way. And, uh, and you know, improve your own world. Um, so that's that. And I've got another saying um, that my friend wrote down for me. Well, he didn't write it down for me. I wrote it down after he talked to me. Hopefully it's not rude. What do you say? Um, one of them is, uh, when you feel passionate about something, you will never feel like you've done enough. I think that's a, that's a good one. And then there's no such thing as a stupid question. That's because stupid people don't ask them. Fine. And then the other bit he said to me, always add value. So it's like, fine, let's do that. The diesel is newer and runs better. Would you rather have a diesel without DCC or a steam laker with DCC? I'd want both of them with DCC. Can I say that? Hello, Ventura Brilla. Ventura Brilla. How are you doing? You say, hi, I'm from Brazil and I follow your job. Thank you. I enjoy doing it, so I'm, I'm glad other people enjoy watching it. It's, it's good fun for me to do. And when I find out, like, honestly, obviously getting comments helps promote the channel in regards to YouTube pushing you. But if someone writes me a comment, and telling me something that's actually really nice and how the videos made them happy or whatever. That makes my day, you know, as, as any of you would. You know, if someone contacted you and said, do you know what, man? I saw you the other day. You smiled at me. I was having a bad day. That turned me around. You know, that was good. And, you know, it's, I don't know. If someone sings a song and everyone tells them that was amazing, it was great. So, like, anyone that you watch on, like, YouTube or anything that does, anyone that does anything, just, I don't know, tell them how great they are. Like, we live in this world where we're more and more closed up from, like, saying what we think. And sometimes we think saying what we think is going to be a negative thing, but it can be a positive thing. You can tell people nice things. You can tell them that they're great. You can tell them when they're not great as well. But that's always helpful. It gives a bit of guidance to people. So you, my friend, are not great today. But, yeah. Maybe it's more of a British thing. Um, we're quite reserved. But it depends where you are from Britain. Because I've got some friends that are very open. Uh, well, they, they say what they think um, straight away. And, and they're probably people I can trust more than anyone. When someone tells you what they're feeling, when they feel it kind of thing. And you're like, oh, okay. Open book here. So... Whereas I'm pretty reserved, but it doesn't mean you can't trust me, but I find it hard sometimes to say how I feel about something. Unless it's like really wrong, then I obviously stand up for my morals and follow my laurels. Anthony says, interesting, we say, whoever said there is such a thing as a stupid question was never a teacher. <laughs> no. Yeah, I guess... Um, you might have... <laughs> I like that, Anthony. That's really good. Do you ever get called Tony? I've got um, a cousin called um, Anthony. He likes to go by the name of Tony. Oh, 
I'm I'm happy to hear that, sir. Happy to hear that, Mr. ACL. Mr. ACL Productions. You said you've put a video up, didn't you? I've got three new channels to go check out. Heart filler. I know what you mean by inspiration. My layout is inspired by the small villages I go through every day on my route to Leeds to Manchester. Well, from Leeds to Manchester. I would, I will admit, I love your scenery. If I'm honest, I don't think my scenery is that great at the moment. It's like it's building up. And every time I watch anyone else that does scenery, I'm like, man, that's good. I wish mine was as good as that. Um, but it's going to get there. I'm kind of taking my time building it up. Um, but I'm trying to get everything else kind of right around it. It's... Kind of, I like to run the paint nice and thin, nice and thin. You see, I guess you can kind of see it. Oh, you can see the splodge of black over there. But yeah, I just want to try and keep the detail on it so I don't lose it by putting too thick a paint on. So I do it nice and thin, so then the water kind of goes away, and then it's all right. Rerun the paint over, or the brush over the paint to pull off any extra or excess. Can you hear the kids outside? This little kid going up, boop, 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 to his dad, and his dad's like. <laughs> oh. Alright, sorry, I've been mobbing what, without rambling. Hello, Rob Arnold. Good evening, Tris, and all in the Model Railway chat, in Model Railway Land. I like it. Just imagine that, Model Railway Land. How would that work? Would we all become really tiny, or does it become really big? How does, I don't know which way around it works. We can all go and live on our little model railway villages. I could build a Metcalf castle to go and live in. That'd be cool, right? Be quite warm because like cardboard's a good insulator, right? Kids arguing with the parents now. Grian, doing any kind of modelling is always better than nothing. Don't worry about what others do, so as long as you enjoy it yourself. Indeed, that's right. You're doing it wrong when you're not enjoying it, right? The whole, like, like I've said about before, like with doing this channel was partly my way to kind of get closer to kind of my brother and my dad, you know? Um... They're not really into RC cars, which is what I do for my hobby and job. Like, it's my other thing that I do. And, you know, we'll go for for dinner or whatever or go around there. And it's like my brother and father speaking different languages. are like, what do you want? And I'm like, I don't know what they're saying. It's, it's a different language. But now I understand 20% more than I did. <laughs> Because they will talk about certain things that I'm like, I still don't know what they're talking about. I got into this to understand and I don't know what they're saying. Um, but it's fine. They actually don't speak with a French accent. They're, they're, they're English. Um, but that's what it was like years ago. And I'm like, I'll be sitting there and I'm like drifting off because I, I, you know, I, you can't engage. So I'll go and ask mum how her sewing's going on. And how's your sewing going, mum? Um... She makes dolls and things as well, so it's always interesting. But now I can talk about it, you know. It's nice. You can engage with the family. And also through, I've made a few friends. I love seeing the names pop up that I've seen coming on for ages. Oh, bye, Evan. Have a good sleep. Hello, Chris Maltby. I'm sorry if I've missed other people's um, posts and everything. Been really enjoying your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. It's a, it's a pleasure sharing. Um, it's worth my while when I obviously get feedback, finding out that I've done all right. right. We're getting there. We can go back to the bogey bolster scene and put another coat on that. I'm enjoying this, chatting to you all. Right, I think I've missed things. Anthony Dodge. Joyce does refer to me as Anthony. Um, to others, like on the live stream, but she won't call me Anthony. Huh? That's very confusing. Maybe I didn't read it right. Grease, uh, Um, 
thinking of old Hornby adverts. Look, they've made a Hornby size. Um, they, look, they've made me Hornby size. And then hiding in a box fan from a gigantic cat. I've got kittens. We could have it hiding from my gigantic kitten. That's where my uh, editing skills kind of come short. Talking of kittens, they're still asleep on the floor underneath my feet. They like to just hang out where I am at the time, which is kind of sweet. It's nice. Bit more water. So is anyone making any purchase of any new locos or second hand ones or second hand slash eBay ones? I bought myself a Battle of Britain thinking it might be more of a new model and I asked bargain 80 quid. And it's one of the like three digit long uh, Hornby models. And it's all right, it's nice enough, but it's not quite the super detailed I was after. Um, so I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'll resell that on eBay. It's meant to be like a limited edition one, so I was like, cool. This must be really good. I can't believe I got it for £80. And then it's like, oh, I see. It's it's like over 20 years old. And it's nice. But I'd like a malachite green one. That's what I'm after. Oh, I'm filling up these veins here. It's not good. I don't think I'm going to get all this done on the uh, live stream tonight. David? Is that when you're in trouble, David? Or just in general? I've always been alright. My nickname, which I don't enjoy, is I get called Trish. Which is a rubbish name. I prefer Tris, you see. Um, but... My mother calls me Tristram. Tristram. Because that's my, my name. I'm trying to like un unclog these bits. Going to a stock sale at my local, local model club next week. There's some good items available. Oh, maybe I can sell my Battle of Britain there. Well, not your one, but like at my model club. So, right, we need to do a, a sales, guys. You know, everyone brings what they want to sell. Or maybe I can just do that anyway. But I don't know if anyone would want it. That's the question. Would you guys be happy for me to come on again and just come chat? Um, and paint stuff? Can you come join me again? In a chin wag about stuffs. I was going to maybe do it, you know, on the Thursday opposite to when I've released a video if work doesn't get in the way or anything like that. What are we getting there? It's not a perfect coat, but it would do. Yeah. We can always approve. Hello, Jade's to maker. Yes, I will. I will do it. I will, I will come back and do another one. Mine is the Kettering and District Model Railway Society. Um, and it's a great bunch of guys. We were there last night and we had uh, this octagon out where we were running the uh, the trains around. I had a lot of fun actually. Really good. James Hart, I know. I didn't know you are still here, James. Do, 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 do. Hello, Tim Maslin. How are you doing? See, so, I'm getting some yes pieces. It's all good. Very therapeutic, is that my calm, sultry like, noise that comes out of my mouth? 
I'll have to keep it that way. It'd be nice to have some music running in the background. I'll have to find some uh, like hour and a half long kind of uh, music you can put on a loop that doesn't kind of make people emotional. Not because it's like romantic or something, just because it's the same thing over and over again. But yeah. Hot filler hour. We need an event where all of the YouTube model hour people all meet up and do something. Maybe build a big layout or something. I don't know. Maybe. I'd like to just go and see everyone because there's a lot of people I'd love to meet. Because I met New Junction, Mr. Richard. And he's really nice, if I'm honest with you. Um, obviously, I don't think he's probably watching at the moment. If he is, he'll pop on. Uh, Richard's really nice. Um, and I'm helping him with a few little things with his a gauge which is cool um done some cool little buildings which you'll see on my instagram again check out my instagram channel if you want to see what i get up to um i don't always put everything up it depends what i'm up to at the time or if i think to take a picture because sometimes i'm like i'm putting anything on instagram for a little while and then i'm like i should probably take pictures of what i do um it's good fun it's those likes them they you know they make make you happy Well, at least one like does, you know, if you get no likes, then you're like, oh, rubbish. No one likes it. How long is the streaming going on for? Are we doing all right? Not making you fall asleep too much, am I? I can't see the time thingy. I'd have to look on the uh, other bit. Well, I started it like quarter past nine, didn't I? I might go for a little bit longer and then I'll read you a nice bedtime story because I'll need to go to bed too soon. We'll go for half to, half past the hour or something like that. YouTuber clan or something in the Great Moderari Challenge. You could have all the different YouTubers teaming up. Um, like, because you'd have like loads of different groups. I think I know who I'd sign up with. But they probably want to sign up with me. But I could make them do cups of tea or something like that. You know, if they'll have me. Good old Channel 5. I remember when Channel 5 started when I was a kid. And I tried to tune into it. It was amazing. Um, I think they had a series called Hercules on it. I used to love watching. But it was always fuzzy. You never really get good signal for quite some time. Um, obviously it was before like digital TV. Uh, we didn't have Sky. So we didn't get that through the satellite. But it was cool. We went from four channels to five channels. It blew my mind as a kid. Because... Uh, yeah, there weren't many options. Four channels, that was all I had for a lot of my um, childhood. You know, I'm not complaining. Imagine there was only four YouTube um, like people that did videos. It's kind of they're mad. We've got what's on tonight. Well, there's this guy that's doing something with um, painting his trains tonight. That's double O'Neill. And then we've got someone that's uh, watching badgers in their garden in the night. There's another guy, he's cutting down trees. Oh, and then we've got the wildlife program where that guy's uh, trying to not be eaten by crocodiles. So that's your four channels, chaps. I'd get a few more viewers, wouldn't I? Yeah, I don't know anything about that really, uh, Guillaume. But we can always dream. We can always dream. You can remember Channel 4 starting Countdown. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -boom. I love the monsters. You run. Oh, that's Adam's family, isn't it? The monsters. I, I can't remember what was on it. I need to look it up on uh, you, um, YouTube. And what have we said here? Hot filler hour. My late grandfather helped me set up parts for the Channel 5. When it first started, he was a TV engineer. Um, he was into modern railways. It's very ah, oh, that's wonderful. That's very cool. I've done both sides. Smashed it this time. Let's do these tops. Maybe I should do like like two weeks time. I continue with these. Or maybe you want to see something new. I guess you didn't come here to see me start and finish something, right? 
Otherwise you never watch my channel, I never quite finish anything. But always making progress, that's the key, right? Bloody hell, Tris. When it was just BBC One? That, that, that's a bit before my time, sir. It's born in the 80s. Apparently that makes me a millennial, and I'm like, I kind of disagree. <laughs> I didn't, I wasn't born with a mobile phone in my hand. So, um, yeah, I was, I was a bit, bit before all that kind of stuff. Jadon Hinoble, is that a Backman flatbed from the Thomas and Friends? Where? Oh no no, this is this is from Ratio, and then I've got this one which is a mainline one, which yeah I want to make this one look similar to, make it look snazzy. It'd be cool just to say hello to people. I wondered like what it'd be like for me because I'm gonna have to wear my hoodie because I, I can't go and do my YouTube thing and then go and hide from people at a show. But there's I'm guessing one or two people that might go, Hello Tris. And I'm like, oh hello someone um that I don't know. And then they'll probably tell me who they are and I'm like, oh it'll be that like for example, um yeah, one of your names. I'm Tim Maslin. I'm like, oh, hi, Tim Maslin. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be good. Say hi. Howdy. How are you doing? Right, that's the one I was doing before. Is this one dried yet? Yeah, it's ready for its next coat. The joys. I always do, like, three kind of coats with, like, watered-down paint. Well, I try anyway, if I've got any patience. One of the reasons I did this was when I saw Richard from New Junction, he's like, oh, are you going to... No, I think he sent me on a message. He said, you... when are you doing your next live stream? I was like, why is that? He said, just wandered. And I was like, yeah, I, sh I haven't done one for a while now. I did one for my channel members, and then I haven't really done anything since, because a lot of the time when you're filming a video, you're using what time you have to do something, but I was like, I had my Covid jab today, I thought, let's not plan anything apart from something nice and easy by doing some painting, so oh, I could put the camera on and like, chat to the guys, it's going to be good, guys and gals. Can we see your childhood custom HO old shape Henry model? He's in the loft at the moment, but we can do. Obviously not right now, but I could bring it out in the next live stream, which will be in two weeks' time, unfortunately. I don't do too many live streams and people start thinking that's what I've switched to. I'd you know, I want to have a little system where one week I do a video, what next week I do a live stream. I don't want you guys getting too bored of me. And I've run out of Tom's the Tank Engine stories to read to everyone. Because tonight, I'm going to read to you a story from here. Should be cool, right? That's right. Number of thin coats, Mr. J28. Are you guys happy to be read a story? Or you're going to disappear when I read it to you?
joyful, isn't it? Bit of paint going on. I hope you've all enjoyed yourself tonight. Jaden. I guess. What? So today my back went duck and all of that. Um, okay. And when I opened the box, Duck's face was off. Jeez, he must have been at a right hard time. Did you pop him back on? Is it alright? Alright, get in there. I'll stay and listen. Ah, oh, good. Good. I'm glad there'll be a few of you staying for the story. But we'll do that at half past, alright? And then I'll go to bed. Because I've got work in the morning. I've got a bit of a drive to do. I actually need to send a message to someone. I know it's on live stream. It's not very professional. But I need to uh, confirm. Ba -ba -ba -ba. You guys don't mind. I'm going to message you. Super. All done. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, all good. Had like messages and everything. I don't want to reply back at like 10, I blame Wake them up, you know, midway through their sleep. I'm a bit of an early bird, you see, so I always think everyone else is going to sleep early. I gave up caffeine, talking of that. I've got caffeine for your diet cope with me. And that's helped me sleep a lot, and I feel more productive. I can do more stuff, feel happier. That's always good, isn't it? Feeling more chirpy. I don't rise to anger so easy. Well, maybe a little bit. I'm just not cut out for the caffeine life. Though I lived on it for years. But when you're feeling edgy sometimes, ah, it's not so fun. Gave it up Easter Monday after being at my parents. And I had some caffeine free tea. Didn't know it. I felt calm as you like in the morning. And then I got back in my Diet Coke and I started feeling the edgy again. And I was like, oh, I feel a difference here. Anyway, I had a week and a half's worth of headaches. And then I was good. I felt good even whilst I had the headaches. That's why I continued putting up with the headaches. So yeah, the joys, the joys. Are you planning on switching to electric frog points? I'm considering it, but never used relays or anything. You're good at electronics. I'm not good at electronics, Tim. I just kind of follow the basic kind of red and black rule. Um, I, yeah, I've not been messing around with that stuff because I guess I could figure it out as I'm doing it. But at the same time, I just keep it simple. The, like the Inso frog ones, like the Pico ones, like that, that little frog's quite small. Like my little O4Os, they're kind of pretty good on it. Um, and everything's going to be DCC with Stay Alive's eventually. So, I don't know. I'm kind of quite happy having my insult fox. It means I don't have to do as much, if I'm honest. Hello, Bendover. I like that name. <laughs> I take it that's not your real name. And if it is, I'm sorry. Um, happy just chilling and vibing here. Cool. I'm enjoying myself too. I start waffling on about something very off topic. I don't really have any model railway gossip. I just like looking at pictures of trains and drawing up little projects and things like that. And I don't know. Same as what you guys like doing. Just enjoying the community. 
I enjoyed chatting with you guys. It's really nice. Let's have a look. Anthony, he says, Today was my last real day of work. I have to clean my room tomorrow. And then off work for 10 weeks. That's incredible, Anthony. Where are you going for 10 weeks? Or is that because, like, summer break? Or are you retiring? Or what's your plan? Bend over. Cheeky chappy, aren't you? No. So I've done that side. Just a little bit of the bits down here. I have something to tell you guys. I got myself a Merg DCC system. And there's lots of electronics on there. And I'm not sure how confident I am. I used to be an electronics engineer. I left to obviously design, to become an RC car designer. So I've seen slightly different topics. So I've got sold all the components on. And, and I guess it'll be fine. My brother and my dad have built them. And um, they said it's gone all right. So I've got that, a booster, controller. The normal kind of the I guess it's the C bus bit that sends the information. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try that because to for my gauge master I'd have to spend like what over 200 quid for a booster. Whereas I bought all of this Merg stuff. I signed up 15 pound, and then all the stuff was like 100 pound and something. But you've got to make it. I'm like, well, let's do it because I'd like something for my. Um, well, my whole layout. I like to have my 009 running and well, just everything. And um, yeah, just 200 quid. So I just thought once I get all that working, if the Merg stuff's that good, well, first of all, I've got like a prodigy that I can use for, let's say, an exhibition layout or whatever you want it to be. Um, or, you know, sell it on. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, so I just thought that's kind of, kind of cool, actually. Um, Though the Prodigy stuff's cool because you've got the app on your phone, but I think my dad was showing me about the Merg guys. They've got an app that you can use on the phone and you can control the trains on that as well. So I'll have to find out about that. I will learn more. Okay. Right, it's almost half past. I'm going to read your story. All right. Are you all ready for it? And then I'm going to sign out. Thanks for watching me, Pink, by the way. Hello, Dad. It is quite easy, but if you look at the size of the chips, Dad, they are tiny. But I will read the destructions, and then if it doesn't work, I can give it to you. Which Thomas engine do you like, Henry or Edward? Well, obviously I like them all, but I like Henry the green engine. And I'm going to read you all the story. Are you ready for it? I've currently got 53 people in the chat. I'm waiting for it to plummet down to about three. But what we do is we start at the beginning. So at the front, you always get a little note from the author. And I'm going to read that to you. All right. Dear friends, here is more news from the region. All engines now have numbers as well as names. You will see them in the pictures. They are as follows. Thomas 1, Edward 2, Henry 3, Gordon 4, James 5 and Percy 6. Then I expect you were sorry for Henry, who was often ill and unable to work. He gave Sir Topham Hatt, who is of course our fat controller, a lot of worry. Now Henry has a new shape and is ready for anything. These stories will tell you all about it. I wanted to read the one, um, which is obviously, there was once a train who was afraid of a few drops of rain. Is that in here? This is the Welsh coal one. But I'll read this one to you. Are you ready for it? You are ready. Hello, Colin. I suffer dreadfully, and no one cares. Rubbish, Henry, snorted James. You don't work hard enough. Henry was bigger than James, but smaller than Gordon. Sometimes he could pull the trains, and sometimes he had no strength at all. The fat controller spoke to him. You are too expensive, Henry, and you have lots of new parts and new paint too, but they've done you no good. If we can't make you better, you'll just have to get another engine instead of you. 
This made Henry, his driver and his fireman very sad. The fat controller was, was waiting when Henry came to the platform. He had taken off his hats, coats and put on some overalls. He climbed on to the footplate and Henry started. Henry is a bad steamer, said the fireman. I build up his fire, but it doesn't give enough heat. Henry tried very hard, but it was no good. He had not enough steam, and they stopped outside Edward Station. Oh dear, thought Edward sadly. I shall have to go away. Edward, uh, Edward took charge of the train, and Henry stopped behind. What do you think is wrong, fireman? asked the fat controller. The fireman mopped his face. Excuse me, sir, he answered, but the coal is all wrong. We've had a poor lot lately, and today is worse. The other engines can manage, but they have big fireboxes. But Henry is small and can't make the heat. The Welsh coal, he'd be a different engine with Welsh coal, that is. It's expensive, said the fat controller thoughtfully, but Henry must have a fair chance. James shall go and fetch some. When the Welsh coal came, Henry's drive and fireman were excited. Now we'll show them, Henry, old fellow. He carefully oiled up all his joints and polished his brass till it shone like gold. His fire had already been lit, so the fireman made it carefully. He put large lumps of coal like a wall around the outside and then covered the glowing middle part with smaller lumps. You're spoiling my fire, complained Henry. Wait and see, said the fireman. We'll have a roaring fire just when we want it. He was right. When Henry reached the platform, the water was boiling nicely and he had to let off steam to show how happy he was. He made such a noise that the Falk controller came out to see him. How are you, Henry? Peep, 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 whistled Henry. I feel fine. Have you a good fire, driver? Never better, sir. Plenty of steam. No record breaking, warned the fat controller, smiling. Don't push him too hard. Henry won't need pushing, sir. We'll have to hold him back. Henry had a lovely day. He had never felt so well in his life. He wanted to go fast, but his driver wouldn't let him. Steady, old fellow, he would say. There's plenty of time. They arrived early at the junction. Where have you been, lazy bones? asked Henry when Thomas puffed in. I can't wait for dawdling tank engines like you. Goodbye. Whoosh, said Thomas, Nanny and Clarabelle as Henry disappeared. Have you ever seen anything like it? Both Annie and Clarabelle agreed that they never had. And that is the story. Right, yeah, guys, I'm going to crack on, leave you to it. I hope you were all happy and had a nice time watching the stream and enjoyed the story. I saw I lost about 10 people watching at the time. Maybe they switched off because they had time, you know, to go to bed and all that. But, you know, I like reading a little story here and there. But I'm going to leave you all. You take care. And I guess I'll see you all soon. I'll just click on the stop streaming and uh, see you in two weeks on the live stream. But if not, see you next.